I'm Charles Meyer here at Meyer Racing. Today I want to talk a little bit about shocks. I have an opinion about shocks. I get phone calls every single day, people calling up and they say, hey, I got some old Coney's, or hey, I bought these double adjust aluminum shocks and they're like $250. And why are your shocks $330 for a non-adjustable shock? The brand that we carry is Integra. We carry the Integra shocks. We also carry Bilstein's, but today I'm gonna to talk about this. I'm gonna talk about the Integra shock. And we also, with the Integra shock, we carry the Pack Racing Spring, PAC. So the shocks basically are broken down between gas shocks and twin tube shocks. Essentially what happens is a twin tube shock is essentially a hydraulic shock and there's no charge of gas in it. So what happens is, this is a, an example where your shock is functioning and just look at the movement of my hands for not even a minute. Look at how much air gets into the fluid, into the hydraulic fluid. And what happens is after about a minute, there's so much air mixed up into the fluid that the shock piston starts to hydraulic and bounce around. So it's no longer properly damping what it is your suspension is doing. It's not controlling the rate uh, in which things move consistently. You see there's a space in the bottom of the shock where there's a charge and all the fluid is gone because essentially the gas charge is now stabilizing the fluid. So as the piston goes up and down, you don't see the same air and oil mixture like you did before. We sell two gas shocks essentially. We sell the Bilstein shocks, which this is their model. It's a simple steel bodied shock uh, normally that is uh, non-rebuildable. It's just a steel canister that essentially when you're done with it, basically throw it away. It lasts maybe 60, 70,000 miles depending on what you're doing with it. Or we sell this completely built aluminum version or steel body version we sell from Integra. And Integra is kind of like uh, jumping up into the nicest of shocks that are available for, I would say, a good value, reasonable money. So Integra makes a steel body shock and they start at $299 and that's a non-adjustable steel body gas shock, uh, but it is rebuildable. So if for whatever reason you buy it and you don't like the valving, you can change it. Um, we can have it revalved. The next thing is, it steps up to aluminum shocks, also not adjustable, and then aluminum adjustable shocks, and the, the adjustment is typically first rebound only. That's extending the shock as rebound. And then it's double adjust, which is rebound and compression, and then you get into um, additional canisters and four-way adjust, and the story becomes more complicated. But for today, uh, we are primarily selling a non-adjustable aluminum body Integra shock that you can rebuild, revalve. Uh, if you want the, the adjustments, we definitely can upsell you on those items. We sell pack racing springs to go with our coilover shock kit. We primarily sell our springs and shocks in, with the kit, but if you want to buy springs and shocks separately, that's totally fine too. On the shocks, there are half inch monoball uh, on either end. And uh, in the front, this only works for our coilover setup. However, I do sell um, a T on top and a T on bottom steel body Integra shock for the stock replacement. Basically what we're trying to encourage and the reason we're saying that shocks are so important is on the back end of the car what you really want to know as a driver is you want to make sure when you're standing on the gas that you're not getting wheel hop from hard acceleration and you're not getting wheel hop from hard braking. So I'm a firm believer that if you want to control that it's all about the shocks. If you're going to spend ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars on a motor, be sure to budget in thousand dollars or more for a good set of shocks to be able to put that to the ground. On the front end of the car, uh, a good quality gas shock, it's basically if you want to autocross with your track days and you want your lap times to be consistent and you want to have consistent feedback from the car, then you need a shock that's going to be able to have very minimal change lap after lap after lap. And that's essentially what the Integra's JRIs, the Penske's, the Oleans, all shocks kind of on that caliber are all trying to do. So all the internal components uh, have been very well made, a very high tolerance for quality control to make sure that the fluid dynamics inside the shock are really repeatable lap after lap, heat in them uh, or running them cold or whatever the case may be. So 
Integra is a great brand. We're really happy with working with Integra and the guys at Port City Racing in Michigan. Uh, the Bilstein Shock is a great option for someone on a budget, and uh, essentially that's a big part of our suspension.